Sabala TV, the one that unites us. Greetings from Carnival Grounds, Nairobi. And as usual at Sabala TV, we have amazing guests lined up for you. And today we'll be speaking to Mr. Alenga, who's the Communication Director of the Verified Legend Awards. I know you're wondering, what's this award all about? So if you want to know what it's all about, stay tuned for more info. Karibu sana, Mr. Alenga. Thank you very much for honoring our invite. Guys, the reason why I didn't pronounce his second name, because it's hard. It's mm -hmm. German, apparently. And uh, unfortunately, I'm not German. Kindly tell us your full name and introduce yourself to our viewers. Thank you very much, uh, Sakina, for welcoming me to your show this afternoon. My name is uh, Alenga Torrested, and uh, as you rightfully said, I am the Director of Communications for the uh, Verified Legends Awards. And how this award ceremony draws the name Verified is because in our communities and in our society, we have different types of legends and people get that title from many things they do. And um, even sometimes for all the bad reasons, but they call them legends. Mm -hmm. Very so true. We are, have taken a couple of names through a rigorous process that meticulously studied individuals what they have done over a long period of time and what the impact of that has been to the society they live in and uh, building the country of Kenya. So we categorized uh, these entries into uh, the categories of sports, business, education, and uh, media, as well as entertainment and music. So we came up with a couple of names in those fields that we are going to uh, award as legends. Mm -hmm. And um, if you look at their lives, and some of the names we are having, people like Fredo Bachmachoka, mm -hmm. people like um, Professor Mwangi of Equity Bank, mm -hmm. people like um, um, Mary o Okelo of McKinney Schools, people mm -hmm. like Mama Kayai or Mary uh, Kavere, uh, people like uh, Nazizi, the musician, mm -hmm. and uh, others include um, uh, Washu, who was um, an, a, a very famous volleyball a player for Kenya, and as well as uh, Paul Tergat, who has been a, a, won a lot of medals on the International uh, Forum for Kenya in athletics. So we bring together all these these names, names that Kenyans remember, and names that Kenyans know about, and they have seen the impact these people have had in the society. So we look at it from a different perspective in the sense that, apart from just awarding them, we are also in talks with the uh, County Government of Nairobi, just trying to do a, a, um, a, a cooperation between ourselves and the county to donate streets where the names of these legends can be engraved in the streets so that as we walk every day to work and other things that we do, wow. we see these names and they, just also like in guide, Hollywood. Yeah, they also guide our steps mm -hmm. to walk into an immense destiny that each one of us has. This, this, this um, names will lead our steps into a huge vista of a lot of things that we can be able to do as Kenyans. That is beautiful. And the one thing I'd like to ask you is, award shows nowadays are associated with corruption and bribery in the sense that the nominees in the award shows are told to maybe pay a certain fee to get nominated or get awarded. So how is um, Verified Legend Awards exempted from this stereotype? That's a very good question to ask. And uh, it's a fundamental question all at once because that is where, from, from that um, issue that you are raising, is where um, the name of the award obtains for us. Mm -hmm. So verified in the sense that it's verified, it's separated from uh, things that are not genuine, it's separated from the fake, and this is verified. And verified with us, who verified? Yeah. So that is why um, this award ceremony is quite unique because it, it, it fetches from a pool where Kenyans have already verified these people. Mm -hmm. You know, there is no Kenyan who doesn't, um, in their own hearts of heart, doesn't verify James Mwangi of equity. Very you know? true. There's no Kenyan who doesn't verify Paul Tergat when it comes to the truck. Mm -hmm. There is no Kenyan who doesn't verify Mama Kayai when it comes to 
uh, entertainment and sitcoms and, and, and comedy for TV. Mm -hmm. There's no Kenyan who doesn't verify Eric Omondi, especially the, 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 Gen, the Gen Z and, and the millennials mm -hmm. whom Eric largely represents because he comes with a string of comedy that seems to transition between times. Mm -hmm. and, and so these people are people that if you flashed their name, a Kenyan sitting back in the village would not doubt that this person is truly a legend. So mm -hmm. we stem from that. And that is why there is no voting. Mm -hmm. So that, um, you know, like for award ceremonies, a lot of these days you see people vote. There's an SMS line to vote. Mm -hmm. There's a website to vote. Mm -hmm. And somebody can mobilize his friends. Very true. And maybe his entire village to Very vote for true. him. Or even pay for voters, <laughs> yes, you know. Indeed. Yeah. And then they become winners of that, that, mm -hmm. that award. I have certain very, uh, very many award ceremonies myself where... I actually doubt the, the outcome of the, the, the polls. Very but that true. Is, that, that's the people, the people have voted. Mm -hmm. And so if you separate it or you pull it away from, or you distance it from that kind of voting system because, mm -hmm. so that um, people choose who becomes uh, the, the, the legend, mm -hmm. then it leaves you with people that um, truly, truly Kenyans will say this one is a legend. Mm -hmm. And um, our biggest... Um, drive is to ensure that these people these people are legends mm -hmm. we know they are legends you and mm -hmm. i know them you and i have seen what they have done yeah, but nobody sure. says anything about them yeah. so that's why we are going back to this pool and saying well we want to idolize this name mm -hmm. well we want to lift this name even higher than it is today mm -hmm. people know the name but what have they done about it mm -hmm. and that is why even the engraving of the names now provides mm -hmm. an indelible a place of that name in the history of this country. And I believe that's a very unique approach when it comes to awards. I mean, you automatically stand out engraving it on Mamangina streets that will be engraved in the stones of time. I mean, phenomenon. So I come to the question where every Kenyan is thinking right now. Majority of our legends in terms of, especially in the music industry and in the acting industry, majority of them die poor. Some of them at old age literally go to the extent of holding a pay bill number. And of course, it's very heartbreaking. Despite them getting awards, despite them getting recognition, despite them being famous, and that is their painful end. So in terms of, of uh, benefit, what are these legends going to benefit from this award? I interesting question to ask. What are these, these legends going to benefit from the award? Um, the very basic recognition of these names is going to send them uh, a pleasant retirement, you know. M many of them are no longer doing that which we are recognizing them for. Take, for instance, Mama Kayai. She has entertained Kenyans for generations, mm. and nobody thinks about it, nobody says anything. And maybe five years from now, kids who are born and they'll be grown maybe in the next five years to understand things. If you ask them who is Mama Kayai, they will not tell you anything. Very sure. But if they read the name on the street and they come and ask they become you, curious. I saw the name, mm -hmm. who is that person? Yes. Then you can take them through the history. And once you do that, then they understand, okay, mm -hmm. this is the this is the person. But more importantly for us is to keep a repository for our heroes, mm -hmm. a repository for our um, legends and so that it inspires generations mm -hmm. so that if you are a comedian in in the year 2048 um, mm -hmm. you will know that you're not beating an unwalked path mm -hmm. but you are walking where eric omondi walked 30 50 years ago very you know? true so that is what we want and um i think for these legends when they realize that they will be part of um a generational um, blessing, mm -hmm. then that leaves um, a desire in mm -hmm. their hearts that maybe even if they could turn back the hands of the clock, they would do more. Very true. Yeah. So in terms of honoring our legends and honoring our own um, creatives and our own sportsmen and our own, um, just honoring our own veterinaries in, in terms of every field, I believe that Kenyans, we lack in that because the reality is if you walk in any household right now in Kenya, you will find them watching foreign content, Hollywood, Bollywood, um, Nollywood. I mean, it's, it gets to a point where we, we sort of neglect 
our local content. So what do you think the Verified Legend Committee can do about that? You know, one of the main things that spread information in the world is the TV. Mm -hmm. And the TV is governed by the theory of uh, users and gratification. So a user will tune in into TV to get something that gr gratifies their the, the zeal or the, the, the desire that they have in their heart. So where does this desire come from? This desire comes from the environment that these viewers are subjected to. It comes from the people that this viewer knows, the names that this viewer has heard of. So today, if um, somebody, as you're growing up, you hear a lot about um, the people, like let's say, for instance, people, you hear a lot about um, rumba music. If you were talking to people that grew up in the 80s, or if you're being parented by parents who grew up in the 80s, and your uncles, your aunts who are, you know, mature in the 80s, in the music they were listening to, they will tell you about Franco Luanzo, Luambo Makiadi, they will tell you about Madilu, they will tell you about Ntesa, they will tell you about Tabule. So, because these are the names that are common to you. If you go and search for music on, on YouTube, you are likely to go and search from amongst those names that you know. If you've been watching, if people speak about comedy by um, Chris Rock, uh, Trevor Noah, Dave Chappelle, uh, uh, Iglesias, mm -hmm. you know, you're, you're likely going to look for such content because those are the names that are remotely available in your cognitive senses. Very true. So that's why we are bringing back these names to you. Mm -hmm. So that if you're going to look for content, maybe you'll go and, and say, well, I know I've now heard of this name, Freshly Mwamburi. Let me see what song, what music he sang. Yeah, so we're reminding Kenyans because mm -hmm. we realize that our generation is, information about the past is becoming very scarce. Mm -hmm. is, um, information about the future mm -hmm. and the present is taking charge. So mm -hmm. our outlook or our perspective right now is more futuristic because of technology and mm -hmm. all that. Mm -hmm. So somebody knows what, um, what iPhone is coming up in the next two months, mm -hmm. but they don't know who was um, who was um, uh, who was uh, Dennis Washiuri, mm -hmm. for instance? If you ask yes, someone who is, who is Dennis Washiuri, mm -hmm. they don't know. Mm -hmm. that, <laughs> don't know that, who that was. If you mm -hmm. ask someone who is Tekla Lorupe, mm -hmm. they don't know who that was. Mm -hmm. If you ask somebody who is uh, who is who was um, uh, you know Billy Conchella, they mm -hmm. don't know who that was. Very true. But they know the next. Uh, lineup for Manchester United. Mm -hmm. They know the next uh, the next season jersey for Inter Milan. Mm -hmm. So we are resurrecting our information about our mm -hmm. people, about our heroes mm -hmm. to be remotely available to our people mm -hmm. so that even when they're looking for content, they're looking for these names. They are mm -hmm. digging to find out these names. You mm -hmm. know. Speaking of sports, you mentioned earlier, um, have you heard of the Keep Two and Keep It scandal? Um, if so, there is this scandal associated with them forging the doping information. Hence, um, of, of course, consequently, that ruins the reputation of the Kenyan athletes, even the, the legends. So what's your take on that exactly? The issue of doping is, 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 is a very large conversation that we have to engage in as a country. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of it can be solved through sensitization and awareness. Mm -hmm. Many of these athletes get sick like like you and I mm -hmm. and they go to the hospitals and maybe at the time of the prescription they don't um, tell the, the, the medical practitioners that I am an athlete so if you're prescribing for me medication prescribe for me medication that does not have maybe these elements mm -hmm. of doping mm -hmm. and also does the pharmacy fraternity understand the elements of doping mm -hmm. so that they isolate them mm -hmm. and at the time of prescription they say this one because it's an athlete mm -hmm. we're not going to administer this drug because it contains this element mm -hmm. that maybe three months later mm -hmm. if they took a urine sample it will still be having that element mm -hmm. so sometimes uh, it's not even doping per se it's just people taking medications mm -hmm. that contains elements mm -hmm. that would prove positive for, mm -hmm. for, for, for doping. You see, like, for instance, if you go to the hospital and you have a problem with hyperacidity, mm -hmm. you are going to tell the doctor. If, if the doctor is keen, they will ask you first, do you have 
um, issues with hyperacidity, ulcers, and all those things. Mm -hmm. So they, they then will have, uh, uh, um, they, they will ensure they don't give you medication that is going to wake up your ulcers mm -hmm. or is going to increase your, your acid levels in your stomach and cause you a problem. Mm -hmm. So the same thing should be done in terms of um, medicating athletes on an everyday basis because mm -hmm. some of them have said, I, I was sick. I went to the hospital. This mm -hmm. is what I was given. I, I, I don't have any idea that it contains an element that mm -hmm. is, do is, is a doping element. Mm -hmm. Because if you look at the, 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 um, the test kits, mm -hmm. they just test for particular elements that maybe could enhance your performance as, a, as, as an athlete. Mm -hmm. So if you have taken any other thing that contains that element, mm -hmm. then you're positive for doping. So mm -hmm. I think a lot has to be done in terms of sensitization, um, education around it, and creating awareness. Mm -hmm. So the Athletics Association of Kenya, the Ministry of Sports, even the medical fraternity has to come in and help our young men and women who are truly talented, but a few of these things just let them down because of the lapse that was, uh, was, 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 was done here and there. Mm -hmm. And also, we, we cannot forget also the idea of um, our athletes being managed or being in contact with managers from other outside countries mm -hmm. that maybe do not want Kenya to progress. And maybe through the administration of these talents they tell them okay you can take this pill you can take this injection mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and unknowingly the kenyan athlete takes it but the interest of this foreigner was to ensure that this person's career does not progress very true. That, that, yeah. that's also another angle mm -hmm. that, that uh, could be looked into very all right so any other information that you'd like to tell our viewers about the verified legend awards that you left out i, I would like to first of all welcome our viewers to the event that will be taking place here at the carnival uh, on the 15th of June, uh, 2024. The, um, we also appeal to our corporate clients, uh, our corporate friends to uh, maybe sponsor their teams to come and buy tables. That would help a long way in terms of generating um, support for this program so that um, it, it, it keeps going and it, beca it, it remains a going concern. Mm -hmm. uh, two, I would also like to appeal to many people outside there, individuals and companies that would want to be part of this initiative to come forward and uh, support us and do the journey with us, help us so that we keep recognizing our talents and um, our heroes and, uh, and, and be able to curate mm -hmm. their stories so that generations to come will be inspired by those stories. Um, lastly, um, to the people outside there that are doing amazing things, I'd like to help to, to talk to them to increase their output, to continue doing what they are doing, to increase their audience. And one day we will come to recognize you. And when we recognize you, you not only feel proud about your efforts, but this the, the, that recognition reverberates in the Kenyan society mm -hmm. and it also encourages women and young men and women from all walks of the of, of, of the, the corners of this country even mm -hmm. those from disadvantaged communities they get hope that if some the so and so got here I can still I can also get here so it's a story of inspiration is a story of fulfillment it's a story of hope and faith in a Kenya that is prosperous and beneficial for all of us. Thank you very much. That was Mr. Alenga, the communication coordinator of the Verified Legend Awards. And we cannot wait on the 15th of June at Carnival Grounds. Yo, cannot miss out on that. Sakina Mwaka from Sabala TV, signing out. Sabala TV, the one that unites us.